Breezy HR Tutorial for Beginners. Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host, Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use and set up Breezy HR. In case you're wondering what Breezy HR is, it is a powerful hiring and recruitment tool designed to help businesses streamline their hiring process. Whether you're a small business owner, a hiring manager, or just getting started with recruiting, this tutorial will walk you through everything you need to know on how to use Breezy HR like a pro. To get started, you are going to go onto breezy.hr and you can tap on Get Started and you will be redirected to a new page on which you will be prompt to sign up using your email address. Keep in mind it would be best suited if you use your business or work email address. After you have created your password, you will be redirected to your dashboard. Now once on your dashboard, the first thing I want you to do is go over to the bottom left hand corner and you're going to tap on the settings cog. After tapping on the settings cog, you can tap on company settings. From here, you can edit your company name and you can also add in your company address. After adding in the company address and basic information, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select users. After selecting users, you can add different members as you can see right here. By tapping on invite members, you will be able to input their email address and you will be able to select their role and you can add them to your team. And you can also set up the different permissions that you will be giving them as you can see right there. Now once you are finished doing that, what I want you to do next, you are going to tap on add position right here. So you're going to tap on your first, you're going to be creating your first job listing. So you're going to tap on add position. Then after you have tapped on add position from there, you can select the position title. You can select the department as you can see right there. And you can add in the location. After you have added in the location, so let's say I were to fill this in real quick. So let's say for example, consultant. Now to add a location, you're going to select the country. Then from there you can select the state. So let's say for example, Florida. And then I'm just going to select Doral and I'm going to tap on add. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down. And from here you can select the different details, whether it be a full-time job position or part-time. And you can also select the department, the category, as you can see right there. You can select the education level. And you can also select the job experience. After doing that, you can put in the estimated salary that you'll be offering as this will appeal to higher quality candidates. So I'm just making a rough estimate right here. So you can put in the salary that you will be paying. After doing that, you'll scroll down and you're going to tap on next step. Once you have tapped on next step from here, you can put in your position description. And by the way, if you tap right here where you see find a job description, if you were to select a particular one, you'll see different templates pop up. So you can see right there. Then you can simply tap on next step. There you'll be redirected to the application form and you can see how it will look for the candidate as you can see right here. And you could also tap on preview in the top right hand corner to preview how it looks at the moment. So you can see your job listing right there. So if we were to go back, we'll tap on next step. After tapping on next step, you'll be redirected to the pipeline and you can set up your pipeline so you can see the different stages. So applied, feedback, higher interviewing, made offer. You can add different stage actions if you want. So for example, applied, you can tap on add stage action and you can choose the action that you would like to happen next. So once they have applied, you could choose to send them an email or SMS. Or you could choose to send them a questionnaire and you'll be able to create a questionnaire. Or you could assign it to a hiring manager. Or you can create a different task. So there are numerous options that you can choose from. So if we were to tap on send email and SMS, then you will tap on add. And from there, you'll be able to select the template that you'd like to use. So you can select the template right there. But before doing that, you can see sending email is disabled because Breezy has not verified your company as yet. So I would need to verify my company before doing this. But you get the example of what I'm saying. So you'll be able to set up different automations as you can see right here. So different actions that will happen in different phases. So you can set that up right there. 
Then you will tap right where you will see next step. After tapping on next step from here, you will see the screening process. And again, you could tap on preview to see how it looks. But we're just going to tap on next step. After you have done that, you can see standard advertising. You can choose whether you like to use that. Or you can choose to add their bundle and save option. And you can scroll down and you can see the different recommended platforms that you'll be able to advertise the job opening on. Whether it be Indeed, Lincoln, ZipRecruit, Monster or Career Builder. There are numerous options that you can choose from that you'll be able to quickly add your application on as you can see right there. Then you'll tap on next. Then from here, you can add in your team members. So you'll be able to manage your hiring team right here. So you can add in your hiring team. Then you'll tap on activate position. And you can see, are you ready to activate position? And you'll simply tap on yes. Once you have tapped on yes, the application will now be active. If you were to tap on preview, you'll be able to see how the job listing page looks. So you can see the position. You can also see the location. You can see full time and you can see the estimated pay. And scrolling down, you can see the description right here of the responsibilities that you will need for this particular position and also the requirements. And you can see apply to position. And you can see right there are the different option on which they'll be able to upload their resume. So that's basically it. You can copy the link and you'll be able to share it. If we were to tap on the X to close out, you can see the link right here that you can quickly copy and share. And you can also choose to share it on different social media platforms. So we are just going to tap on X. From here, you'll be able to see the different new candidates once they have applied. And once the candidates have applied, you can go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on the candidate icon. From there, you'll be able to start screening the candidate. And if we were to go over to the left hand menu option once more, you can tap on inbox and this is where you will be able to view all of your emails. If you were to tap on the sticky icon, this is where you'll be able to create different tasks. So you can tap right here and you could also assign tasks to different team members and you'll be able to view the tasks that are assigned to you. So we could tap on the plus right here to create a new task. After you have done that, you can give the task a name and you can add in the task information. You could also choose to attach a file. Then from there, you can choose the due date as you can see right here. And again, you can assign this task to someone. So who should this task be created for? And you could assign it to someone by tapping right there. So that's how you'll be able to create tasks that persons will be able to collaborate on. If we were to tap on the calendar, this is where you'll be able to view your calendar and see the different tasks or events that you have coming up, as you can see right there. If we were to go over to the left hand menu option once more and tap on the icon right below the calendar icon, this is where you'll be able to get a full, a full overview of and you can see the different reporting right here and analytics. And by going over to the left hand menu option, you can tap on the different sections and you'll be able to view their reports. That's basically it when it comes on to Breezy HR. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.